up you guys, it's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. So as promised, I have some special guests, my social media friends. They're gonna be answering the question, what is the one important tip that you would give to somebody that is about to take the pants? And who better to ask than people who've already passed the pants? So without further ado, here are the tips. Hey guys, my name is Shay and I'm a newly certified PA. I took my boards in June this year and I passed, thank God. <laughs> so one tip that I have for anybody who's preparing to take their boards and who's studying is to make sure you know your most commons. I know in school we were drilled on most commons, but on the boards, if I remember anything, they hammered that thing in. So most commons being most common cause of UCI, most common cause of prostatitis, most common population that cholecystitis takes place in, things like that you should know like the back of your hand. Don't neglect to study the simple things such as these little most commons just to kind of take on the, the tougher stuff. Make sure that you're remembering everything that you're studying every single day. So good luck on your boards. If I can pass mine, I know you can pass yours. Hi everyone, it's Rachel from PA Trek. And if I could look back 11 years and tell myself a little bit of advice about the pants, you know, I think the first thing I would say is that it's super passable. I know it's stressful, but it is created for success. Your school wants you to succeed. Your fellow PAs want you to succeed. The NCCPA certainly wants you to succeed. And so the test is really there to, to gauge your knowledge but it's done in a way that is doable. So you've been in school and doing clinicals for the last two to three years, and you've been preparing yourself for great patient care, but in doing so, you've also been preparing yourself for this test. So when I look back to that time, I just wish I could have told myself that everyone has my back, and we all have your back, and we're all rooting for you. So good luck. Hey guys, it's Dwayne from Pants Prep Pearls. If I had to give you my number one tip on how to pass the pants, I would say you gotta kill the top five. Number one is cardiology. Number two is pulmonary medicine. Number three is GI nutrition. Number four is rheumatology slash musculoskeletal. And number five is ID. If you look at the percentage of the boards, that's gonna be the majority of percentage in terms of the question that you're gonna receive. If you don't do well in, let's say, the smaller topics like endocrine or psych, it's okay because you have a good cushion. So again, if you do well in those top five, you will definitely knock the pants off the pants. Don't forget, you're warriors and warriors win. Hey everybody, Michelle Nesky here. Adana asked me to give my number one tip on taking the pants, or studying for the pants or the pan restart. Um, my number one tip is to do as many questions and as many practice tests as you possibly can. It gets you used to taking the test questions, but it also allows you to identify the parts of the question that can lead you to narrow down your answer choices. You can also go back and look at what areas you need to improve on, especially in those areas that have a higher percentage of content in the exams like cardiology and pulmonology. You can also go back and see what questions you got wrong. Go And then go back to your notes, study, realize why you got it wrong so that you can prevent that from happening again. So it's a really good way to refresh yourself and say, oh yeah, I think I got that wrong because. Um, and it really allows you to see how you improve over time and reduces the anxiety when you go in because you've seen questions like this before. So questions, questions, questions as much as you can. Um, that's my advice. Peace be to you all. This is Omar Abdul Malik. I've been a medically licensed physician assistant since 2001. I was asked by Adana, the PA, to give you all some advice about taking the pants. The advice I would give is this, is um, first, relax. Two, understand that the test makers are not trying to trick you or to fail you. They want you to pass, but they do want to challenge you to make sure that you have the knowledge necessary to function as a medically licensed, certified physician assistant. So use all of the knowledge that you garnered throughout your past few years, pathophysiology, pharmacology, anatomy, and physiology. This is where you show that you're ready to be a clinician. And uh, you know, just relax, you'll, you'll do fine. And I hope this, uh, you all do well. Take care, peace. Hi everyone, uh, Elizabeth with PA Prevo here. And I'm wanting to give you a bit of perspective about your upcoming pants exam. 
Worst case scenario, you fail. Okay, what happens? You retake it. You study and you retake it and you still become a PA. You still become an amazing PA. You might become a PA two weeks, three weeks later than you expected. Uh, you still become a PA who practices in whatever specialty you'd like. Don't think of this exam as something that's so huge and insurmountable because maybe it will become that in your in your mind. Instead, think of this as just another one of those things that you have to do and take care of on your way to becoming a fabulous PA. All the best of luck, of course, um, but don't panic. Just put it all into perspective and you can do it. The first time or the second time or the third time, whenever it is, you can do it.